Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back. Let's talk about the new episode of Vanderpump Villa Season 1, Episode 2. Let's get right into it. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You think it went well? I mean, it was a complete debacle as far as okay so we begin this episode where we left off in the first one with telly putting the martian marciano on check he wanted to come in there screaming and demanding things while he gets to be responsible so telly tells him to stop she says i don't like the way you talk to women and she pushes him then the martian's ex-girlfriend hannah Listen, she definitely team Marciano all the way. She says that Telly is a bitch and that she doesn't care about the guest. And then Eric, the chateau manager, who's supposed to, you know, make everything be calm and peaceful and in order, he starts to reprimand Telly. So the gaslighting was out of this world. I felt so bad for her because how dare they get mad at her? But not at the Martian, who is still outside, by the way, drinking shots with the guest. Nevertheless, they continue to cater to the guests, but Eric gets on the phone with Lisa Vanderpump to tell her that there were problems with the team, so they're going to have to have an emergency team meeting. So the next morning, that's exactly what they do. So LVP has some notes. She's disappointed. She says, how do y'all think it went? Then Martian says that he thinks that the guests were happy and that it went well. LVP says, are you effing kidding me? Are you serious right now? How did it go well? She points out that El Marciano and Hannah were, you know, pouring tequila down their throats before the guests started arriving. She says that it's disrespectful. She says this is not Chateau shit show. This is Chateau Rosabelle. And Marciano and Hannah are, you know, they're not going to F it up. So Marciano says, well, they wanted us to have shots with them, and LVP was livid. She asks, are y'all proud of that? Are y'all proud of what y'all did? Y'all were freaking working. Hannah does apologize, and then LVP says that she will not tolerate any man coming onto a woman. The way the Martian came onto Telly, LVP also says that Eric, the manager, did not handle that situation well at all. Um, it was pretty funny, though. LVP says to Andre, why do you look so scared? You did nothing wrong. Andre's such a cool guy. He says that to this day, he's still shocked at how, you know, this little boy from Chicago is now in France. But after all those, you know, talking points and LVP setting them straight, she says that tonight is going to be the secret engagement. So they need to really, you know, get their stuff together and work hard tonight. Then I appreciated this. So she lets them go, but Lisa wants to talk to Telly separately. First, Lisa does tell her that she doesn't like the lying because Telly did lie about, you know, who was drinking or not. So she asks, why didn't you tell me that they were drinking? Why did you lie? Now, I was not expecting to get emotional about this, but I did. Telly starts to cry because she says that she is really bad at saying no. She's the type of person that wants to make friends and have people like her. So, you know, like to be likable, she'll do what people tell her to do or what she thinks they want her to do uh i can like weirdly relate to her and you know she takes accountability for what she did but again i appreciate that lisa gave her the opportunity to share and be vulnerable she was crying and you know opening up about that insecurity then moving on we are introduced to emily she's one of the housekeepers um we didn't meet emily last episode but we met her today she says that she's been in hospitality for a while she's 24 she's pretty young she's pretty she also shares a story about an abusive relationship that she had where she had to get some nose jobs to repair the abuse that was done to her that's horrible we get to meet priscilla a little better we did see her first episode but you know just a little bit more she's brazilian she's a server and she looks fun and crazy like in a good way so, Marciano does apologize to Telly eventually. She apologizes for pushing him, but he does acknowledge that he's the one that started it. So, he needs to put this aside, move on, and not do it again. And they hug it out. So, the guests are being taken to a vineyard, and also there's some games that Steven set up. So, Steven and Hannah went with them, and they're playing the games, you know, having some fun. 
And one of the games we were playing was like some sort of Jenga game. And it was like a dare that said, kiss the person on your left. So the guest kissed Hannah on the cheek. So, you know, also that gave the people in the chateau some time to plan the secret proposal. But then when the guests come back, Andre, you know, he prepares them all drinks. They were really hangry. And Marciano decides to talk to Hannah. And she's telling him about her day and that the guy kissed her on the cheek. Now, Martian is all jealous and mad about it. I thought they were broken up. But he keeps saying, like, you, you would be mad if that were me. Listen, they're a mess. Lisa then has a chance to talk to the boyfriend who's going to propose. He has the opportunity to tell Lisa what he's planning on saying when he does. But it's not the best. So Lisa encourages, encourages him to say something a little bit more better, more passionate, more heartfelt. Hopefully he listens. So then they continue. They begin the dinner. They're calling it a night in Paris. Gabriella is one of the event coordinators. She did a great job setting this up and she had an idea of having all the friends write something about the couple on a little piece of paper and then they put him outside and they're going outside and then the last people to make it outside is the couple and then they did a beautiful job. They had this dance floor outside with some fake snow. Then both of them get on it and then he starts to, you know, say how much he loves her and all this and he starts to cry um but yeah he gives his little speech and then he asks you know he gets on one knee and says will you marry me and she says yes everyone witnessed it ken was there it was nice seeing him so she you know, accepts the proposal they're now engaged and lisa says to her staff that they can go ahead and party so the night was definitely a success amazing then the next day before the guests leave they're hosting a breakfast that lisa wants to have for the guests um they're going to be calling it a final toast um as they're doing some stuff hannah walks into a room where marciano is sitting on on a couch priscilla's next to him and so is gabriella and then hannah gets mad because priscilla was sort of laying down with her legs <sighs> i don't want to say open but they kind of were but Hannah finds this to be disrespectful. So Gabriella goes outside to get Hannah. And yes, Hannah was mad. She says, why are her legs open? Why are they wide open? It's weird. So Hannah goes up to Priscilla to say that she didn't like it, that she felt uncomfortable. Priscilla was like, oh, okay. I was just sleepy. That's why I was laying there. No, well, I will agree that you probably shouldn't be laying with your legs like open like that hannah is being too much she is the type of person who thinks that the world revolves around her and that everyone must bow down to her expectations um first of all missy if i would have been priscilla i would have said it's not my job to make you comfortable that if that's your man then tell him to get the hell away from me i'm gonna say however the hell i want to sit Anyway, something interesting, though, is that the guests are given some little papers that are essentially a survey of what they thought of their experience. So Lisa's going to read these and, you know, take that into consideration. So the people are finally leaving and you got to love Lisa Vanderpump. She sends them off in a horse and carriage. Amazing. But now with the guests gone, it's time for Lisa to read the, the little surveys. And then she starts to have some conversations. So she gets Telly and Andre. The guest actually said that out of everyone, they like them the most. Then, oh, this got me emotional. Lisa says to Telly, you wanted, you, 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 the other day you told me that you wanted people to like you. And look at these 12 people. They liked you for being you. Wow. Then Lisa tells Andre that um, actually he was who they all liked individually the best. And then you see tears coming down his eyes and he says that he didn't even think he would fit in here. He doesn't have his parents. His mom died recently and his dad never was in the picture. And it was just so sad. And Lisa says, well, your mother did a great job. And like, I'm seeing this through you. And if I were your mom, like I would be so proud. Lisa says to him, you are a kind and compassionate man. And I want you here. I hate to admit this, but I got a little teary eye. I really did because Andre looks like such a, an amazing guy. And like, I can't imagine not having your parents. And wow, very, very emotional. Um, but for now, everyone can finally chill with the guests gone. There will be a new a new uh, group of guests coming in the next day. But for now, it's time to just relax. Everyone is chilling. But then Priscilla is getting a little mad because as everyone is, you know, laying down, she sees that... Um, Gabriella is kind of doing the same thing she was doing earlier but just laying there with her legs wide open so Priscilla goes up to Hannah and say 
excuse me, um, all the girls over there were like have their legs open. Why aren't you mad at them like you were mad at me? So then, so obviously she kind of had to drag Gabriella into it as to use her as an example, because Priscilla feels like she's walking on eggshells. I'm saying it right now. I don't. I do not like Hannah nor her alien boyfriend at all. So then after that, they they separate a little. But then Hannah goes up to Priscilla again and says, "I'm mad at you." And then before you know it, they start to fight. Marciano's trying to calm her down, but she keeps getting angrier. Nah, let me tell you, there's something wrong with this chick. I mean, for her to be calling people bitches and the words to Nini, you better watch them B words. Like, you want to get popped. It was crazy, but um, I hope that Priscilla starts to stand up for herself because who does Hannah think she is? Like, no, 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 no. But anyway, y'all, that was the end of the second episode. The next episode, it looks like there's going to be some drama with Eric the manager. So you guys, this show, I feel like it's going to be the type of show where the episodes are just going to be better and better and better as they continue. But I, I'm loving it, y'all. I, I love how this episode, they were able to have drama, conflict, but that vulnerability from T Telly and Andre was, it was amazing. And uh, again, the shots are always extraordinary. Um, Chad, I'm going to need to try and get an engagement soon because I'm going I'm to have to go over there. But y'all, let me know your thoughts. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. You'll have a great one. Bye.